Good morning, everybody. Evening, afternoon, wherever you might be. Give you a quick shot. Yes, we did get that pineapple that was over there. Just gonna give you a quick update what's going on over here. My hibiscus, cranberry hibiscus is done for the year. It's gonna fall back and uh, still got a couple flowers here and there, but we're gonna cut it all back and be ready for next year. I have <laughs> chewy, of course. Stop eating that grass. Let's take you inside here, guys. You can see this yucca's going crazy. We're gonna take this down. Next couple weeks, it's gonna be out of there. Get out of here. You can see this, guys. Getting ready to top these. They're about right where I want them to be. And so we'll go in here and turn the fans off for you and let you check out and see what's happening, what we've been up to. Uh, there's a lot of changing around. A lot of things popping. Let's turn the fans off real quick. I don't have to talk over them. It's the first time I've been in here this morning. I did a lot of work in here yesterday. So, as you can see, we got the onions and the carrots going really nice right now. Really nice. All the green beans are just getting big and they're starting to put out flowers. It's awesome. Looks like I'm going to have to tie up some things here. Got my jalapenos are falling down. No, that's no big deal. I'll get them tied up. Cucumbers. We got little buggies are hurting them oh, they're not looking that good over there either we'll see what happens but the eggplant are doing pretty good as you can see I've done a bunch of things with the garden moved eggplant around got all the watermelon and the cantaloupe out of here it was just attracting bugs I'm trying to get rid of all the bugs now little by little I got tons of green peppers coming in I see right down here I had one break off on me. Unfortunately, this happens sometimes. There was no peppers on it, so it wasn't really a big loss. Just a little bit of loss to the branch, the tree. There's tons of peppers on here, so most likely after this harvest with these peppers, this, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these too. It's time. See what's going on with the eggplant. As you can see, we get nice ones. This one looks almost ready. We're going to do a harvest on the eggplant this week also. Some white flies. And our onions are popping. You can see, starting to get little bulbs on them. You can see right here. All the way down the line. So they're coming into play. Mama Jalapeno, she's still doing her thing. I don't know what's going on with the, with the cucumbers here, but uh, they've been getting attacked by some bugs too. And so, and they got, a, there's eggs, there's bugs laid some eggs on them. We're going to have to go through here and take care of that. But they're a little droopy today too. I watered them really heavy yesterday, but they like to water. They like to drink. So, and it's really hot right now in here. So a lot of stuff might be drooping a little bit. And I come in here and hit the trays of these guys. As you come in here, this one's still active. These are still good. Found a worm in one of them. We had to get rid of it. This one right here is giant, as you can see. This one's gonna get harvested. All these are gonna get harvested this week. I'm just right now, I'm gonna be putting fresh water in them. And then we're gonna call it after that. Cherry tomatoes are still producing so many cherry tomatoes. I have a whole, I just weighed cherry tomatoes. And yeah, I have like two kilos in there for Randy. Thank you, Randy. Gave me all this equipment in here and stuff. And tomatoes, my wife's just loving the tomatoes. It's of action. We have some. Yep, they're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get some water on these guys. In the bottom of the trays, we have the sawdust coming down from the bamboos. But hey, that's about it. Just kind of still doing their thing in here. Tomatoes are still coming in, and yeah, we're just still still doing our thing how much i can show you guys you've seen it all before so we're just gonna do our thing and uh garlics are almost ready i mean this is this garden's almost finished for the year i don't know if i'm gonna go and start anything in the dry season in here i'm gonna let's let everything finish out finish up because dry season is gonna be so hot it's gonna take so much water I don't have rain water to give them in the dry season because that's why it's called dry season <laughs> there's no rain but um, 
I would be tap water. It'd be almost 30 gallons. I put almost 30 gallons every time I feed this garden. It's almost 30 gallons of water. And so it's a lot. The beds help out a lot. And we're just going to see what I can get. See what kind of stuff's going on here, you know? What, what, what can happen for us? And then clean it all out. And if I have nothing in here, I have no bugs in here. I can get rid of all the bugs and all this stuff. So we'll just go from there. Kick the fans back on. And uh, my uh, dragon fruit are starting to, they're in grow again. They're in like a vegetation stage right now. I'm gonna have to go out there and help them out a little bit. So we'll be most likely stop working in the garden for the summertime here and start working in the outside area on some other things, some trees I have, some fruit trees that need to be sprayed down and taken care of and, and whatnot. So unfortunately lost that on that chili pepper, but that green pepper, but it is what it is. So as you guys like to see what's happening, it's pretty dry. I haven't had rain for a couple days now. We had a little sprinkle yesterday, but my buckets are empty and so yeah empty and we're coming right to the end of the rainy season it looks like the ginger is getting ready too i got I got a red ginger bulb over there i'll zoom in on it for you guys and the ginger is looking good too so i mean everything is just happening right now you can see right down here these red little ginger bulbs those are pretty cool get my hand behind it See what I'm talking about right here. So I got a couple of these popping up everywhere. And when that happens, it tells you pretty much your ginger's getting ready. I do something. So come on over here, guys. And then I get in the shade for a second. Yeah, so I got going growing everywhere, just growing wild right now. I'm just kind of letting them go and do their thing. Oh, here come my chickens. <laughs> they love me. Say, oh, more food. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it, guys. We'll start getting dry. We'll start getting flowers on the avocado trees. This is an avocado tree. I have a lot of orchids in this one. You can see. Really cool. They start blooming out. Oh, I have to let you guys see. And as you can see, I have dragon fruit right in here. This is pretty much where I got all the dragon fruit was out of this tree, but I didn't get it all. There's still some. And I'm just going to let it do its thing. I'm not going to worry about it too much. And this tree is just full of kind of orchids and all kinds of crazy stuff. They're beautiful flowers. And as you guys, I got yucca over here. I just topped some yucca and threw it over here. And it started growing. So that's the way it is. Costa Rica. So. Well, thanks again, guys, for watching. If you made it all the way through, thanks again. I appreciate it. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell. I don't post every week I like to post you know when I like to post I don't have a schedule so if you hit that little bell it's gonna let you know that I threw a new video out there and you guys can go check it out so we appreciate you guys and uh, thanks again